Hi there, once again welcome back to my YouTube channel. Consider subscribing if today is your first time and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. I've started a new series on JavaScript. So we'll be programming in JavaScript and this is my second series in this particular tutorial. The first is about display possibilities in JavaScript, how you can output results in JavaScript. And the second one is about syntax in JavaScript. So what are syntax and then how you can use them in JavaScript. In JavaScript, syntax are basically a set of rules on how programs are constructed. So how you construct a program become what a syntax. So they have rules that you need to follow for every programming language. So in JavaScript, how are you going to do that? Or what are the steps you need to follow? How you create a variable is a syntax, it is laid down proceedings. How you create a variable in Python is different from how you create a variable in what? JavaScript, PHP, C sharp and others. So let's jump right into action and see how we can do that. So I've created this and I have a complete folder on that. So if you go to my folder, this is my JavaScript lessons folder and I'll be sharing this with you. I'm going to do the entire lesson. So when you open this, this is my folder and this is my syntax folder. I've opened this within the browser and I've just given this a heading, each one heading called JavaScript syntax. And then I just provided some rule under that. So that is the rule under this. So we're going to look at how we can use this JavaScript syntax. So what you can do is that for syntax, we have how to create a variable and then how we can also use variables. So that is a set of rules how you can construct a program. And I'll be talking more about that. We have what you call comments in JavaScript. I'll be dealing with that as well. Comments are just line of code that has been ignored. They just give an explanation to what you want to do. So I'll just type how to create variable. So how you create a variable in JavaScript is just instruction that you need to follow. So I can just say var and then the name of the variable will come. So let's see, in this case, let me say name. And then every statement in JavaScript, you end that with what? A semicolon. So this is a simple way of creating a variable. But once you create a variable, you need to learn how you can use that variable as well. So I'm going to do something. Let me say let. You can also use the let to create what variable. And we're looking at into details, the difference between the let and then the var later on. So let's say let and let's say num what? Num1. So this is going to be the first number and we have uh, data types in variable, uh, data types in JavaScript that we deal with. So this is num2 and I can also see what let. And I'll make it this what the number two will be, let's say it. But remember what I'm doing now, I'm trying to assign values to what the variables, but I'll show you how we can use it. So I'll just create this for now. So I'm just going to, so these are basically how to create variables, but you need to learn how we can use these variables. So once these variables are created, you can also use them. So we'll come down here. I'll bring another comment and I say how to what? How to use variables. So when you create them, you should be able to use them. So variables are just like containers within your program that you can use to store values. So now that we've created what? the variable called name, we can assign that and we'll look at that into details when we get to variables. So I can say name is called to what? Timothy. And then remember I said every statement, you end up with what? A semicolon. Now we've been able to create a variable and then now we've been able to use it. We've assigned value to this variable and you can go ahead and print this. Right now, if I save this and I load my browser, I load everything in my browser. We shouldn't be expecting anything. Nothing will show aside what we have already. But in every program, you need to learn how we can print something to a screen, to the screen. So if I go ahead and I want to print maybe Timothy to the screen, then I have to use a proper way of printing that. And in JavaScript, you say document. There are ways of doing that. So you can say document.write. And since I've created my variable and then I'll sign Timothy, I'll just call it what name. I remember I need to end this word a semicolon. So when I save this and then I go back to reload, we should be seeing Timothy now displayed 
okay so now you can see we've been able to display timothy so we've created a variable we know how to use it and then we can now output that result. so there are several ways of doing that so what i'm going to do is that i'll come back to my program and then let's try and see now that we have the num1 and the num2 we can do something with that below this so let's see the number one we score to 15 and then we end that with now assign a value to what the variable num and then let's say num two remember we created we didn't create num we created num one so just make sure we do that and this is let's say 20 and then we can create another variable as well we can decide to define that and let's say call it a z or whatever but let's just do that here you can say let z so we are now creating a new variable and then we call it z and the z will be called to what or let's just call it results okay so let's result so it's a new variable the result is called to what a num one plus what the num two so the result of these two will be what stored within the variable what results so we can print this one out and then we should be expecting what 35 so in order to print this out we can just go ahead and say what document dot write and then over here because the result is going to store the content of num1 and then num2 we just have to bring results and remember every statement and with what a semicolon so that is it when we save this and then print this out we should be getting what 30 what 5 so i'll save this and print this out and let's see so you can see we are getting 35 yes 35 and we can print this on a different line and as you can see 35 has been printed we'll be learning how we can break our code into segments and we should be able to analyze everything this will be printed on the same line but we can easily modify it so this is basically about syntax syntax is rules how your program are being constructed so you can create variables and there are rules to follow so this is how you create variables we have also what you call constant so we write it over here and constant will explain those into details so as the name sound constant that's something that doesn't change we'll be dealing with that as well so there's a lot to learn on this channel and i'm going to make this video very short it's going to be in creating every topic step by step and i'm not going to make it long and at the end of the day maybe i have to join everything to a full video and then upload it back for you so if you want it you can just download a complete lesson so this is how to use syntax and javascript remember to like subscribe for more because i'll be doing a lot on this channel till i come your way again bye bye